What's up, dude skis? We're about to have some brew skis. So Bell's recently has uh well within the last year since they uh since Larry Bell sold Bell's to another company and they took over, they have made several different of our beloved two-hearted ales. They left the two-hearted ale alone, which I'm so happy they did instead of trying to mess the recipe, they just made some other ones. Or maybe this before they, you know, sold. I mean, that part I'm not 100% sure on. But anyways, we got the Hearted IPA Variety Pack. And it contains the original two-hearted ale which is 7% alcohol. Then we got the hazy hearted ale, which comes in at 7.5% alcohol. Change of heart experimental IPA. I need to look more into these experimental because I know Voodoo does it. I got to see exactly what's the, I guess the point of it or what's the style type thing. It's IPA, obviously. Uh, I just got to see I don't know, what kind of IPA, I guess. I don't know. It's 6.8% alcohol. A little less than the other ones. But this one is the Big Hearted IPA. I love that color scheme. That can is awesome. I love it. And this one's the highest ABV of them all. 9.5. And that's awesome. Got them in some little test juice, as you can see. We're gonna start off over here, not over here. <laughs> Number one, the OG Two Hearted IP, Two Hearted Ale IPA. Blah, blah, blah. Tongue tied always. <laughs> Cheers, dude skis. As always, delicious, smooth, bitter. Damn, this is a beer you could drink all night, but still as dangerous as 7% seven, 7 alcohol. The alcohols will get you. So good. Always been one of my favorites. Been a go-to for me whenever I see it at the bar. Or if I can't decide what I want, like craft beer wise or something, I'm at like a 12 pack or something. I'll get a two I get a pack of two hearted ale. Always. So next we got the Hazy Heart IPA. A little, well, obviously the haze, so you got the, it, it gives you the hazy gold color of the, uh, for an IPA, lighter color. Cheers, dude skis. Cheers, dude skis. Man, I'm tongue-tied, and I just started drinking, I promise. Let's go. Oh, that's good. I've always really liked hazy IPAs. One of my favorites, honestly, when it comes to the IPA style of beers. Smooth, has a good amount of bitterness. It is a bit hoppier than a regular IPA. And maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. Ooh, don't break it, Jar. Next is the Change of Heart Experimental IPA. Like I said, I need to look more into these experimental IPAs. Uh, if you have a little info on them, put them in the comments. Let me know. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two. Because I don't know. I don't know jack about this stuff. I just like to drink it. I brew a little bit here and there. A lot lighter than the other ones. So one of uh, experimental is like a light IPA or something. But the color is a lot lighter. Cheers. Yeah, it, it definitely tastes a lot lighter than the other these other two IPAs so far. Ooh, excuse me. Burp. A lot lighter, a lot less hoppy. Still a good flavor, nice and smooth. Not a bad aftertaste. Yeah, I approve. Change your hearts. Good one. Very good. If 
feel another burp coming down it's stuck the final one big hearted ipa and this one is the darkest one which makes sense i guess in a way it's the most the highest abv of all of them <coughs> Ooh, there it is <coughs> another one oh another one bites the dust smells so good cheers dude skis Oh, this is, it's an Imperial IPA. I missed that when I was reading it. Nice, strong flavor. You can taste the alcohol. More hoppy than that change of hearts. A little bit of citrus I taste in this one. It's really good. I give this whole box a 5 out of 5, honestly. It lived up to... It, it kept... I kept the same characteristics as the original two hearted tastes really good they just each one has a little bit different characters a little bit different taste but in the end of the day it's still a two hearted ipa delicious hoppy smooth crisp beer you can drink all night long so good job bells thank you for making all these other ones you guys are doing a hell of a job, like always. I give it the jar stamp of approval. <laughs> All right, y'all. Till next time. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And I started something new. I started a Patreon. If you made it this far, look into my Patreon. Low is $3 a month. You can uh, help support my travels. And I would greatly appreciate it. And I would... All the tiers are going to be the same. Might be typed or worded different, whatever. Let's be a few different ones as I go. A little cold out here, so I got the sniffles. But it's going to be all the same. You're going to get everyone's going to get behind the scenes type access. See the videos or photos or just me. We'll chat on Patreon before the videos throughout the week. And hell, if we ever meet up, if we ever actually meet in person. If you're one of my Patreons, I will buy you beer, buy you lunch, whatever. For a thank you for supporting, supporting me in this lifestyle. So until next time, cheers, Dewskis. Catch you in the next one. Peace.